hey y'all welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while september was a crazy month but we're back now we're back in the normal routine and yeah back with another video so today i actually really love this set and i'm super excited to show you guys um the first step that we're gonna do obviously is go around the cuticle area with this medium grit cuticle bit so i'm gonna go around the cuticles in one direction and then i'm gonna put my drill in the reverse position and then go back the opposite way now feel free to do this with your cuticle pusher if you want me personally i just always use my cuticle bit i feel like it helps to remove like the dead skin and everything a little bit faster and also it helps to release that extra cuticle from the nail plate just to make it easier to actually clip the cuticles and then of course we're gonna go in and clip her nails make sure they're all nice and like an equal length then once i have all the nails clipped we're just gonna go in with my 88 fruit file this is washable and sanitizable i was trying to show you guys in the camera <laughs> but yeah so i actually really love these files i get them from my nail supply i'm sure you could order them off of amazon but yeah so it's a grip file and then we're just gonna etch that nail plate and then i'm also gonna um take that on the edges of the nails too like i said just to make sure everything is even and like just like smooth um but yeah so i really love these files you guys i keep buying them but yeah they're washable and sanitizable you just throw them into the side when you're done and yeah love them but this 80 grit, 80 grit file oh my god i'm talking to guys um but my 80 grit file i really love to etch with this i feel like it gets up just the right amount of the nail plate like some people i've said this before some people like to use their zebra files or like their e files or whatever and with their like their zebra bits and if you choose to do that that's perfectly fine as well i just personally don't like to use an e-file on the natural nail plate just because i don't want to take off too much of the nail plate you know what i mean so i'm just gonna go in with my 8080 grit file and make sure to etch that nail plate really nicely and thoroughly just to help with the adhesion of the acrylic because that acrylic is not gonna stick to any smooth nails or any nails that haven't been etched like you have oils on your nails and all that so once I have the nails etched and I always clip my cuticles after I etch just because I feel like sometimes the uh, the, the file will like go over and it kind of like I don't know it just makes it look rough a little bit so I always wait until after I file or etch the nails to clip my cuticles so that's what we're doing here and if you haven't noticed already I am taking you guys through the entire process of how to do this acrylic set from start to finish um, and then here I'm just gonna place my tips and I'm showing you guys how I place my tips I always place them like this um, with the hand like I don't know flipped over I guess and like the fingers like pointing towards me or whatever I don't know maybe i'm crazy but like i can i can probably put them on straight but like this is just easier for me like i'm looking at it from the front i can see how straight it is or if it's crooked or anything like that so this is just how i put my tips on you put your tips on however you like to All right, so boom, now we have her tips on, so I'm just gonna cut them to the appropriate length. She actually didn't tell me a length, so if you don't tell me a length, we're doing long, period. Um, but not like super long, so I did just cut it just a little bit, but I still wanted to have some length on there because the picture that she showed me, I was like, oh yeah, we're not doing short. Like, don't piss me off, bro. So yeah, this is the length that we went with, and I love them. Like, I feel like everybody should get long nails. I'm such a long nail advocate, like, please. But yeah, so I just used my straight nail clipper to clip them all to the same um, length or whatever. And then I compared them against each other. And then when I'm doing the opposite hand, I'm going to take the first hand and compare it to the second hand to make sure everything's the same way. I've seen people um, take those nail clippers and put like the magnets on them. I really genuinely hate those nail clippers. I, I don't know what it is, but I haven't tried it in like a couple years. So I guess I could like try it again. I hate those nail clippers. I don't know why. <laughs> Please don't ask me, but I really hate them. Like nail clippers, the regular nail clippers, like the ones I have, they always work for me. But I do want to try like the little magnet thing. I think I'll try it. Just. 
probably not today or tomorrow, but we'll see. Um, and then of course I flip it over to see, and then I'm gonna take my, this is a 100 year file, and this is also washable and sanitizable, but I always do, uh, the nail shapes are pre-tipped. The nail tips are pre-shaped. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> the nail tips are pre-shaped. So I don't really buy all the sides before the acrylic application. Literally all I do is just straighten up the top and make it square like and then after that I'll just go in and blend the tip in with the natural nail and yeah Okay, so now we have our prep done. I'm just gonna go in with my primer. This is No Lip Nails Primer. I always use it. I've been using it for years. I've tried the, no, uh, not No Lip Nails, it's the Young Nails, their Protein Bond. I swear to God, guys, I bought it two, either two or three different times. I can't remember. Every single time I've bought it, I've spilt it within like the first couple days. And that really upset me so i just haven't bought it in a while oh also this is um exposed by valentino beauty pure of course that's what this color is love it it's like a pinkish like it's, i wouldn't say nude but like a, a dark pinkish kind of something like that um but yeah guys so i've literally spilled that protein bond every time i've had it like i haven't even been able to try it enough to like really tell how i like it but I want to buy it again because I saw somebody saw somebody mix these two, like mix the no lip nails and the protein bond, and they said they really liked it. So I think I'm gonna try that. But like I said, guys, every time I buy the protein bond, I literally spill it within the first couple days. Uh, is there a holder or something for that? Like I don't know, but it really makes me sad because I'm like, dang, that was such a waste. But yeah. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and place my expose, and then I'm going to do all the nails like that, and then we're going to come back in for the nail design.
this must have been around five o'clock because that's when the sun always comes through those back windows. Um, so I'm just going to take my drill and go ahead and drill. The first thing I always do with my drill is go around that cuticle area and then I'll just go ahead and smooth out the rest of the nail. But y'all can really see how perfect that application really already is. Like, just look at that thumb. That's literally what all her nails look like. That application, the lay was perfect. Like, I don't know. Just practice really makes perfect, guys. I'm eight years in, and I really love this for me. Like, it's amazing. But while I got your hair, girl, apparently, so I have a stalker, okay? Um... I don't know who this man is. I don't know where this man came from. All I know is that he was sending a whole or leaving a whole bunch of voicemails on my business line. And I was just like, what? So I left it alone for like the first few times. And then I ended up calling him like last week. And I was like, who is this leaving all these crazy voicemails like on my business line? Like, how did you get my number? And then on top of that, he ended up sending flowers to my job. So I'm like, okay, you have my business number. You know where I work at. And he was calling me like my government name nobody really knows my government name so i was just like who is this and he was pronouncing it right i just really didn't like that so i've been trying to figure out who this man is but yeah so that's just that's just what's been going on in my life um and yeah i had some but i had one of my clients like facetime him because she was like do you know what he looks like i was like no i have no idea who this man is i don't know like this number i've googled it i put it into cash app like i put it on facebook like nothing literally i didn't get no type of response so i was like you know what who is this like let's call him so one of my clients called him like facetime or whatever and then we put like a little bottle cap over the camera just to like see who it was but i've never seen this man in my life i was like oh my god like who is this so i just hung up and he keeps sending me like weird stuff so i ended up blocking him and then i had like one of my friends call him like it's a guy friend so i was like okay call this number because the guy's also from like wherever the area code is so he caught him and they got into it but apparently i don't know we'll see y'all pray for me <laughs> I don't think he's on nothing for real. I don't think he's about that life. I just think he's like probably crazy or like off some type of drugs, which like hate that for him. Wish the best for him. Um, but like, leave me alone. You know what I mean? And then like the only thing that really like rubbed me the wrong way was calling me my government name when nobody really knows that and then having my address like <laughs> blow me. But so yeah, now I'm gonna take this file. I'm gonna take my 100 grit file again because I don't want the file to be too rough and like mess up my shape. So she's gonna go around the edges now and crispin it up. I feel like that's not a word, but I always say it. I'd be like crispin up your shape. And then I'm gonna uh, do that to all the nails and then oh, again, flip the, flip the hand over so I can do the top or fridge, whatever you wanna say. Y'all, when it comes to these voiceovers, I'm really like, I'm not good at them, but I feel like I get better and better every time. And then also I realized I have to be like actually in a good mood to do a voiceover because like if not, it just sounds so unenthusiastic. And I really, really do love my job and I really do love what I do. So I'm like, the, the excitement's not going to translate over the video if I sound like, nah, 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 nah. you know what I mean? So I'm like, you know, I'll just wait till I'm in a good mood and then I can talk about it because I just sound happier. So, and I want you guys to be happy about doing nails. Like, why would you not be happy? So, you gotta put that energy out there so it can be received, you know? I try. I'm trying. It's a work in progress, guys. But I will say thank you guys so much for 500. Oh my God. Like, I'm so excited. Like, thank you guys so much. It really means so much to me. Um, like, I'm not even a year in, but we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm just, I'm so excited for, like, the rest of my youtube journey like this is really just the beginning and it's only up from here and the fact that like i'm in such a good place right now the fact that i'm like oh it's only up from here it's like i just i'm i'm just so happy i'm so happy and i hope all of you guys are happy and i hope you guys are in such a good place in your life like everything is so good and i want that for y'all too but yeah so don't forget to compare your fingers against each other make sure everything is the same length make sure everything is the same width same size and whatever and if not this is probably like one of your last chances to go ahead and fix that so do that now
And then of course the last step in the application process is to just go ahead and file, I mean, buff. <laughs> buff your nails and make sure they're really, really smooth. This is one of my favorite parts just because like the way that the nail feels after you buff and you just run your thumb. Like you see how I always roll my, rub my thumb over the nail once I'm like done buffing. It's just so smooth and it feels really nice. So it's one of my favorite parts. So then once that's done, we're going to go in with this blue color. This is number 672 by d, d It's called Midnight Kiss. I absolutely love this blue. This is the same blue that's on my thumbs and my pinkies right now. So you guys can see how it looks. But love this blue. And I feel like I said this before, but I figured out, like, the perfect way to get, like, perfect Frenchies. Like, draw the little lines on the side. And then the one in the middle, connect and make a V. And then make a line. And then curve them out. It works every time. I swear and it's just like such a cute deep French it's even so yeah this is like my favorite way to do Frenchies now I don't figured it out so we're gonna do these Frenchies on the ring finger the index finger and the thumb and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys where we go from there Okay, so once we have that blue on, go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. And then I'm gonna take this pearl chrome. You know the chrome that's like supposed to go over like a white polish and make it like pearly, pearlescent, whatever the word is. Yeah, I just put that over the blue and it gave it like this metallic look. I loved that. So we're gonna do that over all of the Frenchies. doing the Frenchies I took this McCart rhinestone gel and then I put like a couple different rhinestones in random places and then we're gonna fill in like that negative space with some of the pixie crystals so just place as many as you want wherever you want and then I also went back in and put some of the um you know like the little flowers or whatever like the blue flowers I placed some of those in like the negative space as well and then went back and filled the rest of the negative space in with the Pixie crystals. I lost that word for a minute, but it came back. And then for the pinkies, I took the Model Ones Builder Gel and I put that all over the nail. And then I'm gonna put some blue pixie crystals over the pinky to go with the blue and the Frenchies. You see the vision? You see what I'm saying? Stay with me. Mm, 
Okay, back to the middle finger. I'm taking just one of my striper brushes and I'm filling in all of that space with that. I think I used the rhinestone gel and I just put it on my brush, but I might have used the builder gel. No, I used rhinestone gel. Okay, either one. I don't know. But I'm just filling in all that space and then I'm going to go over and I'm going to put the clear pixie crystals over this and I kind of like on this finger I kind of like dragged it out a little bit because she didn't want it all the way down she kind of wanted like an ombre kind of look so I just kind of like dragged it down just a little bit but like not all the way to the bottom and then we're gonna go back and take the clear pixie crystals and just put it all over and look how it just fills in the space and just gave it like a extra detail like so cute look at that look at that cute love it the only thing was it wasn't quite as ombre as I wanted it to be so I just flipped her hand up side down and then kind of used my brush to like drag some down and place some more and like put some more glue where I wanted some more glue and then put some more beads where I wanted some more beads and yeah I gave it like more like seamless look you know what I mean? So then I went back on that pinky and took a really dull hundred and file and just filed the size of it ever so slightly just because I didn't want it to be rough or like get caught on anything. So I just wanted to make sure the sides were smooth on those pixie crystal nails. And yeah, what are we about to do here? Oh, you know what? I'm going to take some of those flowers and oh, maybe not. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's coming up, but I'm going to take my top coat and I'm going to top coat all of the fingers and then we're going to come back and do the little rhinestones at the cubicle. Alright, so this is the part I was talking about. So I'm just gonna take my McCart rhinestone gel and then I'm gonna put that right at the cuticle and I'm going to place two rhinestones with a blue flower in, be in between and then I'm gonna take a silver caviar bead and put that in the center of that flower. finishing step of course is cuticle oil just go ahead and oil her up make sure the fingers look really nice and pretty and then it's picture time and this is the final result you guys i absolutely love how they came out this is officially one of my new favorite sets i've ever done but yeah thanks so much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe and then like and comment and i'll see you next time bye